I guess you guys are getting a full presentation, folks. I can't help it, and no, nor could I. Uh, follow up from yesterday, if you saw the trilogy of <laughs> vlogs that I decided to randomly start recording yesterday. Um, for all those that didn't, uh, if you just so happen to be a, a uh, 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 against the world of bad habits, then uh, you have one upper hand in me because uh, I just done did failed. This is not the beginning of it, but uh, we're right. We, we just got started. I, okay, I, I just got started, and no, I have not. <laughs> Not taking any substances today. Only foreign substance I've taken today. <laughs> so far. Um, and I'm sure there's something. That's not natural. Doritos aren't natural. Um, the plant, the plant's natural. Still can't judge as far as how to consider it the drug versus the nutrients that are just found in your typical whatever plant. Um... I mean, the ingredients that I put in my breakfast cereal, um, they're so stimulating. Like if I, re if I listed off the ingredients in the breakfast cereal that I use, there's absolutely some form of like a, um, dopamine or serotonin releasing chemicals. Granted, they're just out of the basic... There, it's just powdered for it's just food in powdered form, right? I've shown you this before. Um, an example: green vibrance. I've vibrance. I've uh, I've mentioned them a hundred times. Um, if you want an example of of ingredients, check out the nutritional label on that. It's got a very in depth label. You can you can pull it up on your phone in two seconds and just get get an idea. Aside from that, there's things like maca root. Camu Camu powder, mushrooms. I have at least eight different mushroom blends inside the, the cereal. Um, things like, um, obviously, a ton of herbs like wheat grass and whatnot. Like, <laughs> grass is grass. Um, but herbs, grasses, greens. I even have spirulina and chlorella out the wazoo. If you don't know, you should know. Um, maca root, maca is testosterone boosting. So it's like bros and sisters. <laughs> um, I almost, I've actually felt this way before that if I were to sell the protein, the, the breakfast bars on as, as they are without, um, my special enhanced infused butter, um, like you'd almost need to list off any, um, allergies that you may have just in case because there's also nuts and seeds and um and uh, uh um i think there's uh, there's oats for sure i don't know if there's barley rye no rye no barley there's and no spelt so there's like wheat and oats probably um but besides that um nut butters um honey i just added the honey but so far, I'm trying to thicken it up. Um, yeah, guys, I am making more. It was really funny yesterday um, because technically I, I took it as a, not a double blind test, but going into it, I had no clue that it was the, it was what I made because originally I didn't recall eating one before I felt giddy. Right, and that's kind of what it stemmed down to is just feeling kind of giddy, just a little. I think it started with an idea too, but not with an idea. But one thing led to another, and I knew what I thought happened was um, the bone broth kind of just getting into my my roots, getting into my positive, good, vibey, good habits. Right, because I've been doing well for the past few weeks. Um, and I've been picking up on good habits and getting rid of the bad habits until uh, I looked in the freezer 
And there were the bars that I made a long time ago. They were still in there. Long time ago. Um, and I just ate one for shits and giggles. Lots of giggles. <laughs> um, and I just didn't even realize it. I really didn't. Um, I, I, I literally thought I was feeling good before I even ate one. Um, and there is no way that made sense because I felt not like it didn't, it was an increase. It was absolutely an increase the whole time. I ate about eight of them. Granted, they were half full. Um, but I must have felt at least a cinch better within like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Now, I'm guessing because I didn't eat anything that day, which is why I busted them out. Um, bone broth usually takes me forever. You're about to see me go through the process of, of, of making dog food and separating all the meat from the liquid and all that good stuff. It's, 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 I let it simmer for 24 hours, 28 today, yesterday. Um, but it's a humongous process. And when I started it, I didn't eat anything that yesterday. I didn't eat until later on. So I decided to bust out one of these, um, get some nutrition in. <laughs> um, and at the same time, I guess, uh, falling off the bandwagon. <laughs> Um, and it's not good at the moment either because it did spur um, more intentions. Different different thing is, is that, uh, well, 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 one side of my brain says, oh, well, I'll just make it so I can sell it. 100% hands down. I gave in. I caved in immediately. I've been waiting for this recipe to feel good in my head forever. I'm the only one who likes this shit. It doesn't taste good. Um, they're not, they don't, they're not great bars by any, by any stretch of the imagination. They have to remain frozen because it's made of coconut oil. Um, so it has to be cold. Once it starts warming up, it gets slimy and, and soft. Um, this is not like a cheap protein bar. One of these, one of these, I would absolutely sell for five bucks. Absolutely. One, one square. Five bucks. They're barely an inch thick. They're one by two. One height by two length width. Um, five bucks. Five fucking bucks. For sure. One, two, three, twelve. Sixty dollar tray. I'm about to make a sixty dollar tray right now. Um, it's so amazing. Um, they're not tasty though. Like I said, they're not there's so much dense nutrition and a lot of it's greens a lot of it's powdered greens um so because we've added a new ingredient which means nobody's going to know the original because nobody cares about the original camu mushroom matcha bacopa lion's mane blah blah, blah. grass and shrooms Super greens, we grass go moringa, spirulina, the maca, the cocoa, the acai, the gojis. Um, gosh, we've got ginger, turmeric, guys. Everything. <laughs> like a fuck ton of shit. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Five bucks a bar. 100%. Um, so obviously they're going to start off as, um, <laughs> I was going to say, obviously they're going to start off as Christmas gifts to the family. Ah, but no, um, probably just like friends and shit, you know, um, see what people think. But yeah, I'm going to have you guys watch along. Watch me make these. We're going to get into more of this, um, my videos are still uploading. They'll be uploading for the next two days. Um, another 40 hours to go on, on, the, on the big one, two, two and a half hours, I think my, my one video was. <laughs> um, <laughs> I 
That's a lot of giddiness. Granted, there's probably like an hour and a half of, of dead space. Because I did not stop recording. Except twice. Um, but yeah, let's add some nut butters. We've got almond. Usually have a, 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 a combination of tree nut butters. I don't know if I'm going to sell these ones. Because I have to, you know. I don't want your Cinex bars or your fancy foreign cars. New, 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 new. All I gotta do is get another. Now I, I want to make it thicker. I want to make this thicker. So what we're gonna do is add nut butter. Solidify it that much more. Um, the coconut's already working. One or the. Honey is already working wonders. The, 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 the biggest problem is I won't be able to make it consistent until it's frozen. The freezing part really solidifies it. So I'm guessing this texture won't be perfect um, while it's not cold. Um, I, I don't know how to make it really great. Like I th I've thought of dates before, but I, I'm guessing I probably just put a little too much butter in there. I can always add more powder. Um, but the more powder, the more green. So the, 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 the green doesn't taste great. And if you're not a fan of, of, the, of the flavor of, of like weed butter, um, it, 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 you won't like, I mean, it, it, just, it tastes, it tastes, it tastes just like, um, you can taste the weed butter. That's for sure. Um, see how it's very, yeah. You guys see that very well? I mean, you can't, but. I don't want your Xanax bars. I might just add another shot of powder. Um, I could taste it. I could. It's so weedy. Can't even taste the greens. So, yeah, this is one goal tonight. This is the other. Sorry, song in my head. Um, might add one more powder, make this thing really effing. Because I'm obviously more interested in the nutrients nowadays. I've always been more interested in nutrients. But I didn't actually think these would work. <laughs> I've had them before. I've never felt anything different. Granted, I only ate them when I was already high, but wow. Turn, call this a breakfast cereal and do not smoke first thing in the morning. You'll be good for the day. Um, and it was hard to judge because of the stigma that is usually along, that, it, that usually goes along the lines of eating any sort of brownie or a dip weed infused butter um, is that usually when you eat it and you ingest it um, most of the time it gives you the the relaxed feeling right it gives you very mellow feel so you can just chill out play video games and sit on a plane and just for hours you know whatever what have you yeah, I went nuts yesterday. I just kept working. I kind of, I had planned on doing things. Um, like I started with the bone broth, like which is what I, like what I said. I thought that's what started my, my, my giddy kick, you know, because I was just so excited to, to, to start it all over again. I haven't made a batch in over a year. Um, 
<laughs> but it grew <laughs> with intensity and uh it probably took about four hours four no six no six to eight hours i think i may yeah i didn't i didn't fall asleep i didn't get tired until my normal tired time i didn't get tired till like 10 11 12 o'clock i was up till 12 until one o'clock in the morning doing bone rock or just watching it you know um so yeah i'm gonna add one more here we're gonna add one more Add one more A tablespoon. Should be about four. Maybe five, including the actual, never mind. Up to about five scoops. And I usually take one a day. Um. very potent. So I would assume that each square should hold maybe a half of a scoop of the uh, the main the main um, powdered form that I add. That's getting better. I don't want your zan. Oh, so sorry, folks. <laughs> the last song I listened to. Na 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 na. Name that song. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. <laughs> na 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 na. All right, so it's not bad. It's a little gooey, um, but I know once you freeze it, it kind of just immediately solidifies, or at least give it 20 minutes. Um, damn. Let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, very liquidy. I mean, I did wash my hands. It's just going to lick this. I'm just going to do this, folks. Not too bad, actually, for cleanage. I thought the whole middle, I am, I'm getting it in quite well. All y'all out there that are actual chefs or think of y'all as such, probably hating right now. <laughs> There's too much in here. There's too much. Um, I'll take full bars. These things are almost full. Wow. Mm hmm. I'm going to show you how bad. Oh, by the way, um, I won't be sticking to these myself. I'm trying to make the, pr the, the promise, and I know it looks bad right now, seeing as we're a day after. I'm trying to make the mental note that I will not be ingesting these for personal reasons. Um, but it will be difficult. It will be difficult because... The feeling is not nearly as paranoid as I would normally be. Um, I did want to be on my own a little bit, but not nearly. Like you, I would have to ingest so many of these to keep myself from like 
going out or something. I don't know. I mean, granted, that was like a one-time thing. Yesterday was a guaranteed, yep, pretty sure I was feeling it. Um, so it might be different other days. It might be different elsewhere, elsewise. Um, definitely different for each person. So don't take my um, my review as the same. Um, but like I said, I've never felt edibles before, ever. Um, I was very shocked. I was very shocked. Um, the hangover is absolutely what's going to keep me from it. Um, most of the, usually what gets me, like if you didn't get an, if you didn't get a hangover from alcohol, how much would you drink? Um, a lot of people who smoke weed seem to think that there's no hangover. Um, if you don't think there is, by all means, I absolutely re I am a hundred percent sure that I feel one. Um, and I realize that every single time I stop using, whenever I stop using for a certain amount of time, and then I fall on the fall off the bandwagon again, um, I realize there's a hangover. Um, it's not as bad as alcohol. It doesn't feel. There's no physical pain. Like when you have no when you have alcohol as a hangover, when it depletes you, like it depletes your water reserves. It, it, um, your muscles feel flushed. Your brain literally hurts. My brain will fucking, it won't pound, but it'll feel foggy. People say foggy often. Um, now I can say, I could use the same word. I could use the same word, but it's not exactly the same feeling. Um, the hangover with, with edibles or with with weed, um, still slow to make, to decide, at least for me, like making slow decisions, not being able to decide, um, I, I kind of felt lofty all day today, I felt kind of not giddy, 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 but, oh, it's been a okay day, oh, it's been a right okay day, um, I also do feel a little sluggish. I exercised a little this morning. It was not an exercise per se, but I did do something which was surprising. Um, so it's a little hard to judge. I felt something. I definitely felt a morning. Yeah, I felt it. So to each their own. If you don't, hey, by all means. Um, but me though, I was. I, I definitely felt it. I'm gonna go through these in the throw these in the fridge. I'll be back for this part. I don't want your Xanax bars. Just my fancy Xanax bars. So, now that I'm intoxicated, <laughs> wait for this one. <laughs> we might as well go all the way. <laughs> Yeah, bad move. Now you know I'm fucking up, right? So bold, bad move on my part today. I... It was so funny shopping, too. Because um, I... And it started with the desire for a snack. And then I went in the store, grabbed a snack, peeked over the shelf, and there was beer. <laughs> And I just started thinking, just started thinking by the end of the walk around. The only way I could describe my feeling today. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah, of course you can. 
So um, pastryarchy. Um, I don't expect a great flavor. Some of theirs um, have turned out. Oh, Dewclaw, by the way. The pastryarchy, I'm pretty sure, is a line of their pastry beers, I think, um, by Dewclaw. Dewclaw Brewing, Maryland. I didn't know they were from Maryland. Um, this isn't even cold. I'm so, yep, I really want it though. Um, chocolate cinnamon brunch breakfast stout with gold <laughs> glitter. <laughs> Unicorn farts after dark, I swear to God. Um, the only thing that can make me feel like uh, you guys would understand. Glitter shines brighter in the dark. <laughs> Giddy, giddy up for this French toast flavored frenzy, complete with alluring notes of chocolate and spiced cinnamon. Um, for those that are looking for a bold, standard wizard review, um, apologies, I'm just reading right off the can. <laughs> a beautifully dark take on the original Unicorn Farts, which I have had before. Collaboration between Duclaw and Diablo. Now brewed as a dessert stout with gold out of glitter. What a fag. <laughs> oh, man. I love it, man. I love it. If I'm going to hop, if I'm going to fall off the bandwagon, I'm going to do it looking like a bitch. So I'm totally cool with that because I want to stay on the bandwagon. I could care less for all those that are Drug users, um, and this goes for anyone, bro. Kids are your drugs. They're just not as shardy looking. <laughs> um, I'm not. I'm not a fan of them. I just love being around kids every once in a while. Um, but I, I mean, we've talked about addiction long enough to where I believe that. Yeah. Love, definitely, it can be, and uh, not that love needs to be controlled as much as something like drugs are, but it can get you as much into trouble. That's what I'm trying to point out. Like, if you overdo anything, it's just, that's the definition of addiction, at least in my mind. Um, you have to be aware that it is making you suffer and most people don't see it um, especially in relationships where they're giving and giving and giving um, just an example by the way and I'm not even that's not even a great example for me because I don't have that much experience um, but jobs you know you can be addicted to your job money you know you could be addicted to damn near anything as long as you but you're not really addicted until you like I don't feel I'm not addicted until I actually consciously consider myself. Addiction is a, con is a subjective issue. Um, I don't think you can really have... There is an, uh, uh, an objective definition. Um, I don't think we all agree on the objective definition, which is kind of a double-edged sword, seeing as that's not a proper statement. You can't disagree on an objective statement. Objective truths are objective truths. Um, I don't know what the definition of addict, addict is. Um, and if you've got one, I will. I would love to hear it. Comment down below. Um, <laughs> but I have my own definition, and it does not rule out anything. does not rule out anything. You just have to be consciously aware that it is causing you a problem somehow, somewhere in the body. So let's get on with this game of self-inflicted trauma. Yeah, let's do this. So, I already accepted it. It's totally cool. Um, I knew that eventually, like, I'd crack open another one for for holidays. Um, to me, it's all about tapering rather than just cold turkey. Um, I did do cold turkey two weeks ago. First time. Like, I can go from every day to nothing. I can do that. Um, but that's not what it's about. Actions speak louder than words. But words start with thoughts and thoughts, or words start with the decision. The decision starts with a thought. You got to think that you're making a problem. Is that a hair? 
and it's definitely a hair in the beer. New, 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 new. Oh well. Oh yeah, this one's gonna come right up to the top. That's a big pastry. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Too bad it's not like 12%. 8.5%. Nothing too crazy. Um, just off of that, there's hella cinnamon. Chocolate cinnamon. Really good. Chocolate cinnamon. I'm sure they just put like... I'm sure they just threw a cake in. You know? I've said it before. I'll say it again because I, I've i seen it happen when you're making... When you're making a... Uh, uh, when you're making a fresh batch of brew, some uh, some brewers will just take that take that sugar, take that concoction, dump it right on in, folks. It's that simple. Uh, pretty crazy, but you know. So next thing we're gonna do is get rid of this fellow. There's a good up to here with uh, bones and everything. What I want to do is separate the bones from the liquid, break down the bones a little bit, and uh, essentially get some dog food out of this because um, I didn't just put bones in here. So I want to, I want to get it all, right? I want to get absolutely everything. So what I do is, what am I going to do here so I can, show you guys at least the visual. I should get my music on pretty soon. Maybe something like this. And I also haven't eaten anything today, so I have no doubt that this'll this'll be uh woo-hooing pretty quick. I need I need this. How about, <sighs> I don't know. I'm supposed to just pull one, one of these out real quick. I'm just gonna have to pull out another one of these. Bones and this fella. I want all meat. Look at all this. All dog meat. Here's our. Here's one of our. Ch turkey. Turkey pieces. Turkey breasts. The bone of the breast, right? So basically. With my hands, I'm just removing all the easy stuff. And more or less, it's dog food. I don't want really stringy stuff. I could, but I, I don't want it to have too much fat. And uh, sometimes if it's, if you're making bone broth, fat and gelatin can be really hard to discern. Um, so unless you really know how to separate and plus, it could just take a lot of time. Um, it's going to be hard. I don't want to keep all the fat or anything for my dog. So I'm kind of just going to dispose of it. So, yeah. We got all these pieces. Like this right here. That's me. Like, yeah. But I still want... The, the ligaments, all the ligaments and tendons, those all break down. And uh, you can definitely, definitely feed animals all that stuff. It might take time. I mean, we're going to be here a minute. I'll tell you that right now. But you don't have to do this. I'm just a fucking sucker for waste. Like, I think, I don't recall doing it, but... I'm pretty sure I just took the breast meat off of like one or two of the chickens and threw the legs and thighs 
maybe not the thighs, but like the drumsticks of the uh, of the meat of the of the chicken in here. You just let it break down. So all this stuff is just extra. Do have to be careful though. Second you put a bone in here, your dog is gonna hate you. So be careful. Na 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 na. Yeah, like all this. This is a neck bone. And it is just covered in extra. And it just falls right off because it's been simmering. You couldn't do this beforehand. Um, but neck bones are just swimming. Real nice, soft. Problem is, there's so many bones. So you gotta be careful. Na, 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 na. I'm not sure. Um, oh my god. Look at all that meat. Oh, it's so hard to see it go if you don't get it perfect. Next suck. But, worth it. Look at all that. I wish I had a better way of doing it. Anybody out there, hit me up. Na, 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 na. Um, what else are we going after today? Meat. Um, I kind of just wanted to say most of what I said. You guys... Low battery. Low battery already. Hang on, folks. Let me charge you. Big boobies are getting tight. Low power mode. All right, so we're going on 40 minutes. I will charge you up, which won't work, because now, guess what? Whee! Now you get the whole visual. Yep, sorry. I gotta charge you, though. Na, 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 na. Mm, I don't really have much for you guys, to be quite honest. Um, I wanted to ad admit what I said and uh and move on like i don't like the fact that i'm making more brownies that is <laughs> but i'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be thankful na, 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 na. um definitely can't do it very often because I can't play. I can't play my game unless I'm sober. Na, 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 na. So then I justified it to myself. Well, I'm not going to play tonight because i got all this work to do. Look at all the joints. Fat. Falls right off, folks. Um, I'm going to start picking up meat right now since there's legit so much in here. Um, I don't have anything for you. I think I might just pause it real quick. I figured we would go into a lot of work. Um, huh, watch me turn it back on once I put a brownie in my system. I wanted to go into like how life is and everything, but I don't want to do it if I'm, you know what I'm using because I wanted to make an upgrade. If you don't recall me yesterday, it started with the opposite wordage and then it transitioned. Um... I don't want to make videos though unless I'm kind of doing it right. 
I don't want your Xanax bars. See, there's a lot of... I, mean, I don't want my doggy choking. It won't choke, but... I don't like biting into stuff that my teeth can't break up. And that's kind of when you know something ain't right. You do bite into something that can't break it with your own teeth. Um, I might just fuck off with all this, seeing as I've got about 15 more of these red fuckers to do. I might just start peeling off big chunks. There's a lot. There is a lot. And my doggy gets hungry. So maybe we'll be nice. Take as much time as I can. I won't go nuts. I'm gonna take this. I know this is like in my room. I don't need these, these guys. Just go right in. Unless there's a piece of the bone, like this. You got a bone, find a soft spot, dig it out. Dig out that soft spot, that's all the gelatin. I think it's a gelatin, some sort of stuff. Might just be fat. But yeah. Um. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Wow. Fuck. That would be the neck. Man, look at the chicken just fall. Chicken meaning the meat. Not the chicken. Oh, you're messing with the chicken. I'm going to pull Yeah. Done making vids. Look at all this. It just falls. That's what I want. Yeah, that's better. I don't want to be fudging too much, but so much. So good for your dog. I mean, I don't know how to justify throwing away it. Throwing it all away. There's just so much extra. I don't want to be wasted. I think we're going to waste meat. That's fat. Yeah, and this is all fat. Skin just not necessary. You get that, oh my god, it just falls right off. Meat along every chest carcass, all the breast pieces. Then you pull out, oh my goodness. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, it takes, very, it takes a very long time, but uh, <laughs> I think die. You think food is something that just happens naturally or eating just happens naturally without any thought to it you just go to your little gas station and pick up your food and eat it and that's it yeah you're gonna fucking feel and look like shit you're gonna make other people feel bad for it too look at all that oh my goodness I haven't even taken a sip yet. 
think that hair threw me off. <laughs> um, here it comes, here it comes. Man, of day, dude. There's so much. Na, 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 na. Is this wet? This is wet. Oh, that's the... <laughs> that is wet, but where'd it come from? Mubber. <laughs> um, good news is... I'm still saving money. I definitely don't drink nearly as much as I used to. But I'll be fucked if I have a better reason. And it just gets me fucked up. Oh my goodness. It's okay. It's very sweet. Um, but... Oops, I'm putting that in the wrong one. It's very sweet, but I'll be darned, man. I'll be darned. That is so tasty. It's, it would definitely be good in the morning. That'd be so good in the morning. It'd be so delish. Look at all this. Look at all that. Oh, look at all that just come right off. Um, I want to be done with y'all. Maybe I'll just wait until the... Whew, look at that. <sighs> Boom. Oh. This looks like an actual hip. Not sure. No, it's a neck. <laughs> that looks like a lot, though. And it is. just can't feel good about wasting it look at that it's just a whole piece all you got to do is make sure there's no bones squeeze it all together it's just dog food oh my god there's so much like we got a long ways to go You could easily make your own dog food. Yeah, your dogs are gonna eat meat, folks. <laughs> Don't sit here and tell me, oh, my doggy's small, so it's gonna handle veggies. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, your dog can be special, I have no doubt. Yeah, can be special, it's just, it's not your dog. <laughs> what do you know, <laughs> homie? Ain't nobody watching my channel right now. I am talking to thin air, I ain't talking to you. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anyway. <laughs> oh, man. How rude. 
screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Look at that. Turn us on each other. Here's another one. Look at that. Actually, there's not much on this. Maybe the wing. Like you can get in between each rib, wing, wing rib. And just pull stuff out for days. Ain't got time for that though. Go to your breastplate, slowly massage. Uh, thumb. See what I'm doing? Can't really see me, can you? Go in. Man, if you just took the time, you could come up with your dog food. There's definitely a faster way. Oh my God, look at all that down there. I just don't know that way. Look at that, the whole freaking wing. I just put it... <laughs> Sorry, folks, but it's already been an hour. You just take it clean off that whole wing. Yeah, I just, I just, wow. It smells like a factory. <laughs> I just took the whole wing and put it right on in. There's a wishbone. How about that? Like, look at all that meat. Oh my God, all that's meat. One little bone. Two little bones, three little bones. Four little bones. Lots more meat. You just gotta stick to the task, folks. And pretty much done with you guys, even though I haven't stopped talking, there's another one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pause you guys till we, till we get somewhere. Till we get somewhere that is. Oh, look at how terrible that framing is. Um, so yeah, cheers to jumping off again. I don't plan on redoing this. I will have leftover beer, probably just going to hand it to the neighbor. I gave him all of my stuff, my peace, my leftovers, um, my smokes, everything. So it's like every single day I'm going to have to restart if I decide to jump off. You know, it's not like I'll... Never, ever, because like I, like I haven't mentioned before, um, I don't necessarily consider myself an addict all the time. There are times in my life where I just couldn't help it. And then there are times where it's like, all right, I'm done. There's no chance I'm going to do it anymore. Um, and I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting started with just being this, uh, this, this, I'm done with this shit. Um, so we're going to progress slowly, probably over the next, uh, weeks, months, 
in years, um, like over the next 10 years, I should be able to count on, I should be able to keep track of how many times I use. Um, like I said, holidays, maybe I'll drink a beer or two. Um, and besides edibles, I don't want to smoke. I really just don't. Um, it, I just don't want to. Maybe I will, but I know it's going to hurt in the morning. And that's really just what I want to stray, uh, uh, stay away from. The next day is terrible, guys. It's just horrendous. And the only way to get out of it is to take more. That's it. Um, at least for me. So I'm not speaking for anybody else. Um, and I don't want that morning feel. I can definitely tell when I have it and when I don't. Um, this morning I had it and I just didn't like it. I didn't like how I felt. I was giddy, but I was not, I wasn't doing well. You know, same feel when I'm on a substance. Feel great, but I'm not, not functioning 100%. Not doing the best. Aside from what others may think about their personal use, I call bluff. Absolutely think that everyone, not everyone, there is a reason. Um, I've called it medicinal purposes. That angle is terrible and it's throwing me off. I've called it medicinal use. I think it's because of my warped thing too. So I'm going to fix it. Sorry, folks. Um, we're cutting it up here real quick though. Um, but yeah, besides medically, besides a medical prescription, I don't think you should be using. I really don't. That goes for any substance. Um, so yeah, the whiz over and out. Uh, I will wait to, to, to load this one, seeing as it's another hour, another hour long video. Catch the whiz later. Um, live expressively. Live expressively, woo! I do it sober for once, for gosh sakes. Later.